Tu vois Tu vois That's a good boy. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Funky Friday, Fun Friday. I saw some of your suggestions. I don't really know what to name it yet, but welcome to Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a lot of fun because I'm going to be unboxing some clothes that I bought recently. I really haven't gone shopping in a while for a variety of reasons. I think the last time I actually bought clothes for myself was like, was early April, if anything, around my birthday. I wanted to treat myself and I feel like around then, I thought the pandemic was gonna be over pretty quickly. I had no idea it would go through the summer and into fall and probably into the rest of this year. But anyway, I have some really exciting packages here. Let me pick them up real quick. Okay, it looks like I bought a lot. I really didn't. It's just everything came from different locations. So I kind of freaked out when I got all of these different parcels in the mail. And as you can see from the box and the polka dots, these are shipments from the online consignment store called ThreadUp. And this video is in part, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I paid for everything here with my own money. This video is not in partnership with ThreadUp, but I know a lot of YouTubers do a lot of partnerships with them. That's actually how I found out about them. One of my favorite pastimes is actually thrifting and I love going to vintage stores and thrift shops and getting used clothes just because you just never know what you're gonna find. Actually, recently I saw a video about sustainable shopping, the trend and how it's actually not good and it made me think a lot because i do go to a lot of goodwills and i don't go there to buy in excess like i usually go there to buy like work blouses but then this girl i think her name is sarah hawkinson i really really enjoy her content i wonder if you guys know who she is but she was saying that a lot of these goodwills are in neighborhoods where people of those communities actually need those clothes but because thrifting has become so trendy they hike up their prices because they know there's a demand so there's the people who actually need the reduced pricing clothes end up suffering and yeah i actually just watched that video a few weeks ago after i made this order so i was just thinking a lot about it because it's important to shop sustainably but also if you shop in excess that doesn't really help the earth in any way it made me think a lot i was waiting to open these until i could film today so i'm so excited to open these and i'll probably do some cutaways or something so you can see what they look like on me so first things first let's just start with what's on top this is a bag from Freda. once again not sponsored and i think it's good to try clothes on because i just want to make sure but if it doesn't fit me well, then I'm going to be returning items. Is, am I the only one who hates returning things? I feel like it's such a hassle, but also saves a lot of money. Oh, this is so cute. Let's stick together. That's what it says. I love their iconic packaging. Like, you know it's a thread up box. I don't quite remember everything I ordered. It's been a few weeks. Okay, so there's two items in this box. Yes, there is this black pair of jeans that I ordered. Um, but what's interesting is that these are flare jeans. Ever since I was little, I remember my mom used to tell me that for my body shape, flare jeans would better fit because I tend to have more of like a curvy hourglass figure. Now that like the 90s are coming back, now that flare jeans are kind of coming back, but also because I just don't really care what trends are, I just want to wear whatever I want to wear, I wanted to get a good pair of black flare jeans. So these are Soho New York & Company jeans high waist flare and i'm super excited to try these on okay here i am trying on the jeans i was so pleasantly surprised with these jeans usually when i'm trying jeans on i'm like 85 percent skeptical because most jeans don't really fit my body well but the high waisted um kind of hugged my hips perfectly it felt like it, it felt like a glove on my body essentially when you put on a good pair of jeans you know there's that feeling you know when you know i love the boot cut of the jeans and it fit me really well i'm showing you here that there's no gap where my waist is so it fits very snugly around my waist and yeah there's no extra fabric anywhere it was it feels like it was cut and made just for my body type so i really really like this pair of jeans the second item in that package was this i don't remember this pattern maybe because the pictures were like relatively small all oh, right it's this cute little sundress from mac studio unfortunately summer is ending but hopefully maybe there'll be a day or two i can wear this out 
don't know. It's really cute. There's little, I feel like they're little dandelions. Can you see it? It's really cute and flowy. And I'm not really leaving the house much these days anyway, but like when I go out to grab something for a takeout in the neighborhood or something, go on a walk, it's something easy and breezy. I love dresses just because they're really easy to wear. So that's cute. I'm not sure about the pattern in person, but I'm gonna try it on. And here I'm wearing the dress. I really, really enjoy this dress. It's really, really cute. I think it looks very feminine and sweet. This cut on the side is a little weird, I think, but oh my God, this shoulder and this side profile view of this dress is so beautiful. I love the ruffles on the arms. It's just so romantic and flattering. And yeah, I also like this kind of ribbing on the waist that kind of tucks at the waist. I thought the boob part looked a little weird, as you saw, but if I'm not hunching, it looks fine. That was the first package, so let's put this back in. And we'll move on to the next one. Second package. This is the second one. Let's see what is in here. Chai? Do you guys see Chai? He's just chilling out back here. He's upset because he finished his breakfast first, and then Yuzu, the other one, he takes a really long time finishing his, so Chai thinks that I, Chai keeps thinking that I'm feeding Yuzu and not feeding him. I think he forgot. You already ate everything, silly. Anyway, second package, let's rip into it. This one's kind of leaking out right here. Oh, this one was really cute. I'm excited for this. So it is a jumpsuit by the brand Seek the Label. There's polka dots. It's really cute. And I love the bottom because there's these little ruffles. Very cute. Yeah, super cute. And the quality feels really nice, actually nicer than the sundress. So I'm excited to try that. Oh no, this jumpsuit was such a disappointment. It just didn't fit me right. Another thing, when you know, you know, it was really loose around the stomach, really tight around my butt. It didn't really even zip up. It didn't make me feel pretty or confident in any way. It just wasn't mine. So this is definitely going back. Next one, we got this box. Okay. Oh, interesting. I like how that opens. Parking lots, please. Kiosk vendors, bye bye. Choo closes when? Yeah, right. Oh, because you can thrift online. Got it. Oh, wow. Okay, so here is this one. Let's see what is in here. Oh, they gave me a little pamphlet. That's cute. Uh, let's see. So this one. Ah, yes. I was really excited for this. I don't really have that many good shorts for the summer. I now realize by the time this package has gotten here, I feel like Seattle summer is probably over now. Hopefully I'll have some chance to wear these out, but it's hard for me to find um, jeans that fit me, especially jean shorts because my thighs and my hips tend to be much larger than the rest of my body. So I, come, I came to the realization that these elastic sorts of shorts fit me really well because they hug my waist where it needs to and there's no, like you know that gap at the back of your pants? I hate that so much. And I generally like more looser pants, so I'm really excited to try this. It's by Simon Miller. It feels really durable and heavy. Can, is, that a, is that a way to describe jeans? I'm not sure, but I hope this looks good because I feel like once you invest in a good pair of jeans, whether it's shorts or long jeans, they're probably gonna stay with you for the rest of your life. So I've been doing a lot of that recently. And this is the shorts on. I really, really love these shorts. I was a little nervous because it was a bit of more of a pricey purchase from ThreadUp, but I actually really love how this fits my body. I love the elastic, as you can see. It fits snugly around my waist, but it's not super, super tight around my hips. So I hate shorts that are super tight around my hips. I'm throwing on a blazer that I haven't even shown you yet because I just got too excited when I tried on these shorts. I love it so much. It feels really great on my body. I feel like it's flattering to my body shape. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. The second item here is from Wave. Oh, this was the one where I was like, I'm not really sure about this. I'm gonna have to try it on and see how it looks on me. It just looks like, hello Yuzu. Yuzu has come to say hi. Excuse me, excuse me, honey. <laughs> Excuse me, 
Can I finish this video, please? Are you gonna sit right there? Okay, you can sit there. It's a jumpsuit that's kind of formal-esque and you wear it like this, it's strapless. And it, the silhouette just really looked cool, so I wanted to see if it could be a piece that I could have in my closet and wear out for like weddings and things like that, since I don't really have clothes like that. So we'll see how this fits. It feels like really good quality. Oh my gosh, disappointment is an understatement. I really, really wanted to love this jumpsuit, but it just fit me weird. It just it wasn't tight enough on the top. I felt like there was this bubble around my stomach, which felt weird. It wasn't flattering to my body at all. It's just the design, it looked much better on the mannequin than on my body. And here I'm showing you that there are no pockets, which is already 90%. I knew I was gonna have to send this back when I saw that there weren't any pockets because I feel like it's a design that's meant to have pockets, but this was a no for me. I felt like a blob in it. It didn't make me feel pretty, so it's going back. I just realized all the clothes that I bought are black. And then the next piece from here, ooh, I'm excited for this one. I guess I'm excited for all of them, which is why I bought them. This is a blouse, obviously it's black because maybe it's the color of my soul. I just wear black all the time. It's by Susan Lucci, I don't know who she is, but it just looks so cute. It's this kind of a square neck billowy blouse and it just looks really, really cute. So I wanted like a really romantic, like wearing this with a pair of blue jeans so cute so i got this and let's try this on another disappointing purchase unfortunately i was so surprised i thought i would love this blouse but something about i think it's the size i knew it would be a billowy looser blouse on my body but maybe if it was a size smaller it would fit me better it just felt too loose where I felt like I was being eaten up by this blouse in a sense. It just didn't make me feel like how I thought it would make me feel. Okay, we are finally at the last box. Oh God, Woo. let me take a sip of my coffee. I get so warm when I film videos. Am I the only one? I don't know. Whew. Last box, let's get through this one. The only thing that I realized that a lot of these YouTubers who are sponsored by this brand, they don't mention, is that since everything is from different locations and different um, warehouses, I'm assuming, there was one from like the East Coast, I had a box from Arizona, one was from California. So I think they just have multiple warehouses around the country and then when you shop, they fulfill and then they all send it to you. The only thing that I have to say is it kind of doesn't smell the best. I'm just very sensitive when it comes to my like smell. And of course, you know, used clothing, 100% of the time you should wash it before you try it out. I'm gonna be washing all of these before I show you the try-on shots. But it's just when you open the boxes, it's not as of a pleasant experience because it smells like an old warehouse, but. All right, last one. I think this is the item that I was most looking forward to, to be honest. The best thing I think about ThreadUp is that there are certain brands that I don't understand why they're so expensive, but I know they're good quality, but the markup is insane. So when I wanna, when I decided I wanted to start investing in more quality pieces in my closet, and I realized my wallet didn't really agree with me, buying secondhand was the way that I was able to purchase items that are made well. You know, it's not really Forever 21 anymore, but it doesn't, like it doesn't make sense to spend $400 on a blazer. I think it just seems too much and feels really vain. Speaking of that, this is a blazer. It's a theory blazer that I got and I really hope it fits me well because I think a blazer is just so powerful and iconic and there are days where I just want to feel like such a boss, like a boss bitch. So I have one H&M blazer I bought a few years ago that's been in my closet for years and then the past few recent years I started really falling in love with blazers so I had the thought I want to invest in like a nice quality blazer I could wear this for interviews I could wear this over a pair of jeans and it's just so beautiful I like it and it was such a steal it's not $400 that's for sure I would be insane to be spending $400 on a blazer right now but yeah that's what this is my new theory blazer I'm so I'm excited to try this on Finally, this is the Theory Blazer on my body and 
it was perfect honestly this is perfect for me i love how it fits on me i love how the shoulder is like loose the shoulder is loose it's not too tight on my shoulders when i move around it feels comfortable and when i put when i button it like this it looks very formal and professional and i'm demonstrating here usually how i would wear a blazer like this out in a more casual setting you just throw it on on top of a pair of jeans and it can make any look look so classy and beautiful I just love how a good blazer can make you feel so confident and like a boss bitch I loved this blazer oh and here I'm showing you the blazer on with my favorite bag and this is how I would pretty much style this blazer when I'm going out to have brunch with friends I just want that little oomph of confidence I love it so much and yeah that's it for my video i hope you enjoyed watching me unbox a bunch of clothes um it's definitely not every day that i'm buying these kinds of items for myself especially like all of these items and it was like a self-care thing that i wanted to do after like five months of not really shopping or doing anything for myself and maybe kind of hoping for a future when i can actually dress up and leave the house again fingers crossed we'll see if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up if this is your first time on my channel hi my name is Yanni I make mental health and social work videos on Mondays and on Fridays I make these kinds of just fun light-hearted lifestyle videos so if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure to subscribe that would be really really awesome join my little corner of the internet that would be great to see you back here and yeah, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day, wonderful weekend. I hope you're staying safe and healthy mentally, emotionally, physically, sending you all positive vibes. And I'll see you huh, in the next one. Bye.